Okay, a student investigates the average speed of a trolley rolling down a ramp. Look at the results. A student has made two errors when calculating the mean. Identify the two errors and calculate the mean. Hi, yeah, uh, this is Gorilla Physics and I'm running through this. It's an OCR gateway physics paper. This is paper one. This question is all about an experiment to do with calculating average speed of trolleys rolling down a ramp. It's a really good one for practicing your describing, you're working with graphs, and also your calculation skills and your experimental uh, evaluative skills as well. Let's jump on into the video. Do pause it when the question appears and have a read and have a go yourself. Or just at least have a think about it before you listen to me explain, because that's a better way to make sure that you're going to remember those um, key points. Now you see how that's a really important time to underline the command words. So they're basically a mark for each error and two marks for calculating the mean. That's, that's the kind of notation that they're getting out there. All right, so what are the errors when they're calculating the mean? Let's have a little look down here. Hmm. Doesn't it uh, seem a bit silly that they've calculated to three significant figures, but they've measured to only two significant figures. So they've reported the mean to three significant figures, or you could have written two decimal places but they've only measured to two significant figures. Okay, that's not an accurate way to do things, really. That's not really the right thing. The, the number of significant figures should be the same as the raw data, so that's an important thing. Uh, what else have they done? Well, let's have a little look at how spread out they are. They're all pretty close, but that's three, and that's, that's almost two. That is an outlier. That's an anomaly, isn't it, when we look down that data? So they probably they should have excluded attempt five from their mean as it is an anomaly. Okay, I'm done. Oh no, hang on a minute, no. Four marks, I'm gonna get four marks for that, am I? Well, okay, what I should do then is I should go ahead and um, calculate the mean to the right number of significant figures and not including that anomaly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Add the four that I'm gonna use and divide them by four, because only four answers there. Hit that button, and well, that is 2.875 on the calculator, but I am going to round that to just two significant figures, that is 2.9. So I would have only got one mark if I'd have excluded it, okay, but rounding it to the correct number of significant figures. In other words, correcting this error and this error gets me the final, gets me the final two marks. Calculate then the speed of the trolley rolling down the two meter ramp. So here we do need to memorize an equation. Okay, this is our good old speed equals distance over time. Distance is two meters. Time, well, my average now is 2.9. 0 0.69 is my final answer. This then, so mark then for just remembering the equation 2.9. 0 over 2.9. A good habit to be into is actually doing the rounding, but be careful, 0.68 is not the answer. You would not get that final mark if you had rounded that incorrectly, so be really careful when you do your roundings. Okay, describe the pattern the results showed. So here's the average speed versus the angle of the ramp. So basically they changed the angle of the ramp and look at the graph of the results. Well, describe the pattern. It's clearly a higher average speed, isn't it, when the angle of the ramp is higher? Okay, well, is that going to be two marks higher when the angle... Mm. I don't think so, actually, is it? So what, what else can I say about this pattern? Ah, it's not a straight line, is it? It's not proportional. So I can say that initially it's increasing more rapidly than it is at higher angles. So I could say something like the rate of increase in average speed is less for the higher angles. Now it wouldn't be enough for that second mark just to say it's a curve, okay, because you have to say, well, what way is that data curved? Mark for just a statement, higher average speed, higher angles, but a bit more marks, second mark for that detail there. Okay, and look out for these things. Graphs show rates of change. Lastly, use the graph to estimate the speed of the trolley when the ramp is 70 degrees. So basically we want to know the speed here. Okay, so what we need to do is just extrapolate this curve a little bit more, like so. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. 1.5 will get me the mark there. 
Okay, they give you, they, they think it's 1.55, so they think I'm a little bit low, but they give you a margin all the way from 1.5 to 1.6. Okay, so I saw quite a few, like, slightly higher ones than this, but they think it's just there. All right, I hope that makes sense. It's just one simple mark for that, not looking at the graph, but looking at the number that you give there. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Kit, and this is Good of Physics. It's all about you understanding more. So you enjoy physics more, get more confident, and then you're going to do better in your exams. Thank you very much for watching.